And this is actually the number one strategy that we use to source a bigger deal, multiply so commercial real estate. We actually close a 13 unit office building for a class using the exact same strategy. There is a couple different criteria here. Number one is that you need to be off market. You need to be constantly looking for or building that off market funnel for yourself. Number two is that the class of the property cannot be just a regular residential. Okay, that won't work because there's too much inventory out there. You need to be looking for something that's a little bit more unique, such as apartment buildings and let's say office building, retail stores and all that stuff. And the reason why I say that is because it's not usually a seller's market. There's not too many buyers that want to buy those property. And this is where we can leverage this strategy a little bit more. Okay, so let's dive into it. So usually when you have a specific strategy for buying core or value at a type of a approach with your real estate investing, you can literally find that specific property. So I'm gonna use maybe 12 plaques in here or maybe 22, like something above this, right? If you're looking for uh, those apartment buildings, you can usually find a target area in your city. Those areas are where most of the multifamilies are. And what you do is you just narrow down that target area. Let's say this is your city. Let's say this is the northwest uh, of your city. And there's a, a bunch of different commercial real estate or multifamily space in here. So what you do is you actually use in Canada, like in Ontario, we use Geo Warehouse. But you can actually pull the co-op agency information of this building. Who's the agent? that's helping this current owner purchase a building. And what you want to do is you want to be building up that relationship with the co-op agent. Let's say if you use uh, your software, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a prompt stream, could be Geo Warehouse in, in, in Ontario. It could be, let's say, House Sigma, right? You find a specific property, let's say 123 Main Street, and you can usually find out who actually helped the owner purchase this building. You reach out to this co-op agent and literally say the following. Hey, so-and-so, let's say, John, hey, John, I passed by the property at 123, Main Street, and I'm actually interested in this building. I understand that it's not for sale, but if I were to put in an offer for the right price, would your clients be interested in selling that property? Just by doing this consistently every single day with multiple different properties, you're going to see how that conversation develops into, yes, they're actually interested. Because the truth is, in that conversation, you say, if the price is right, would they be interested in selling? Everything's always for sale, just depends on how much you can actually offer. If you do this, the agent typically will say, yes, you're getting quick yes from this conversation. And the second thing is for you to be digging up a little bit more information. And usually the conversation will lead to, okay, what do you, what exactly are you looking for? And can you share a little bit more about the building information with me? So from there, you typically will understand that this might be a trailplex and the agent might say, hey, listen, yeah, I've been talking to, to the owner. They don't have any plan to sell. They just do a couple different renovation. And maybe there's, they're still in the process for evicting tenants who are not really cooperating with a cleaning and, and junk removing and all the other stuff. It depends on how the conversation flow. You would typically get a little bit more information on this building or the relationship of the agent and the owner. One of the things that will happen, number one is, yes, send me the offer. And what this does is that this building now still hasn't hit the market because you're just testing the interest and they say yes. And why would the co-op agent want to do this? Simply because if he or she can make two to 2.5% without having to do any work and you're the one who's approaching them, which means you're the one lead for the buyer, they would love to either make this money or double end this deal by doing literally nothing. No MLS, no negotiation with other, other agent. He or she is just literally just presenting an offer and hopefully they can close the deal. No, if the answer is no, I've spoken to the landlords or the owner, they're not interested in selling. No, what you do is you ask, since you know exactly what I'm looking for, would you by any chance have a, any similar listings? Usually people in this space, they will be touching multiple different clients with a similar property. So most likely commercial agents will have a pocket listing for you down the road. So even though it's a no, ask for or pocket listing, keep building that kind of relationship. And this is how you can start drawing the deal into your funnel. And the reason why this is super effective, and I feel like people who are doing cold calling actually needs to be utilizing this strategy a lot more because if you're doing cold calling to the seller directly, number one, you need to do skip tracing and you need to actually find out exactly where they are and get through so many different friction to get to one seller only. So that's saying if you're the investor here and then you're doing the cold calling, you have to do skip tracing, find out the information, to a cold calling, cold reach out to the seller. And this is literally just one seller. What you want to do is to do the exact same thing, which is still cold calling, but 
Alibaba moved to co-op agent who facilitated the deals for their clients. Cold calling, first of all, you don't need to do skip trace anymore because the software will show exactly who this person is and how you can reach out to them. Once you do this, this can potentially lead to multiple different contacts. So what I like to call this is that B2C convert your action into B2B2C. And this is how you can be extremely effective with what you're doing on a daily basis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking to get into real estate wholesaling, there's another video for you to watch. And if you're looking to compress the time and learn the step-by-step -step in the next 30 days, make sure you fill out the application below. Our team will reach out to you.